The new Nano Banana, which is Nano Banana Pro, is finally here. And this thing is absolutely insane. For the first time ever, the model outputs native full 4K images by default. No upscaler needed anymore. It can take up to 14 input images and merge every single detail into one ultra accurate final result. It now supports every language on the planet, even the rarest ones, and can generate text in any font you want. And the craziest part, its 4K accuracy is so good that it keeps every tiny details perfectly sharp. This is officially the most powerful model released to date and what you're about to see will blow your mind. Let's start and go through all the use cases of Nano Banana together. Nano Banana has countless use cases and I'm not going to repeat all of them here. If you want the full list, you can watch my previous video about Nano Banana where I covered more than 50 use cases in a one hour deep dive. Every single bit of those use cases also applies to Nano Banana Pro, but now with much higher quality and accuracy. So they all count for this model as well, but I won't repeat them in this video. You can check out that video if you want the complete breakdown. In the first example, we want to see how well it can preserve a character in a single image. Here, I gave it this input photo and with this prompt, Look at the high quality, impressive image it generated for me. I used 4K resolution. If you pay attention, you can upload your image here. I uploaded this photo and gave it this prompt. I set the resolution to 4K and the size to the 917 mobile format. And look at the high quality output it gave us. No matter how much I zoom in, the skin details are flawless. And look how well it has delivered this 4K image by default. And how clearly you can see all the details here. Now, I really appreciate if you like the video right now and subscribe the channel for my next fantastic tutorials. I took this exact image that we generated and gave it back to the model, telling it to zoom in on the subject's face. And again, I set the resolution to 4K so I could see even more details. And this is the output it gave me. I'm zooming in on the skin so you can see how precise and beautiful the skin details are and how it has provided all the details with very high quality while still preserving the authenticity of our original image. The person's face has not changed at all. It's truly amazing. Amazing. Honestly, we've never had a model with such extremely high quality, this level of accuracy and this kind of professional artistic stylization. Keep in mind, the important difference between Nano Banana and Sea Dream 4 is that even though Sea Dream previously had 4K, its images are this artistic and in terms of alignment, being properly adjusted top, bottom, left, right and centered, it cannot perform this precisely. It simply cannot produce an artistic high quality output like this. Sometimes you see that the top of the image has too much empty space, at the bottom has extra space, at the subject is too far left on right and not properly centered. But Nano Banana is absolutely exceptional in terms of artistic quality. Now I gave it this same photo and told it to zoom in on the eyes and again I kept the resolution at 4K. Okay. Look at the output it gave me and how precise the facial details are and still the person's face hasn't changed and the skin details are incredible. For those who are looking for a perfect output without plastic looking skin, without that shiny glossy appearance, this AI model has finally come to your rescue. It's amazing. Look how good the details are. Then I told it again. I took the exact same image generated by the model, used it as the input image and told it to zoom in on the left eye. And look how well it managed to zoom in on the left eye, keeping the exact shape of the same eye and giving us unbelievable details. You can even see the iris of the eye and the tiny hairs on the skin here. In the next prompt, I told it, I'm giving you this input photo and I want you to add makeup to my image. Look how well it added makeup to the photo and it is literally and exactly the same image without any change in its details, without altering the person's face and it added the makeup perfectly. One incredible feature that has been added to Nano Banana Pro, which honestly amazed me, is that you can even include languages that are not very common and widely recognized as direct text inside your image. Here I use the Persian language which almost no image generation AI has been able to generate properly in images until now. I told it to create a banner for me in Persian that advertises men's clothing and to write the word Hakupian in Persian using a specific font that I specified, the Nastalik font, which is one of the calligraphy fonts in the Persian language. There really is nothing more rare or more obscure 
than this for the AI to understand what we mean. If I search for the Nastalic font for you on Google, look carefully here, it shows exactly the same font that it gave us in this banner. And look how well it even recognizes fonts, meaning you can tell it what font to use in any language when creating a banner for you, and with this amazing level of quality. Look, it designed a complete banner for me, and even the text written here, I didn't tell it any of this, but the text is entirely meaningful, and none of it is incorrect. If you take a screenshot and give it to ChatGPT at Gemini, they will translate all of this text for you and it's completely correct text with no mistakes even when writing in Persian or in other languages that are less common. I haven't tested all languages but I think most languages like 90% of them can now be generated directly inside images and this is truly amazing. You can even specify what font you want it to use. For the next example I gave it a photo of a two-dimensional building map which is a floor plan and I told it to turn this map into a real image for me and look at the accuracy look how precisely it was able to recreate all those details. I'm putting these two next to each other and you can see everything is labeled where the living room is, where the kitchen is, where the dressing room is, where the bathroom is, where the toilet is, the bedroom and even the patio. I had all of these details in that map and you can see that it recreated everything I wanted very accurately without making any changes to the original plan. This is really great news for people who work in architectural drawing and want high quality outputs, it's amazing. Now I took this same image and used it as the input image, I told it, let's fly in and go inside the living room and show this area to us up close from an oblique angle and look how well it was able to show us the same house from an oblique view. If you pay attention in the original image, the sofas are placed here and the TV is in front of them and that's exactly the same in this image. There is a table in front of it and behind it is the outside area and look how well it was able to recreate the exterior. And if you notice, the kitchen is placed in the correct spot and in front of it there is that four-person dining table and the accuracy is extremely high. Honestly, I'm enjoying how much precision and beauty this image has and the other output also shows that the details are handled extremely well. There is just an extra sofa here, which is something we can overlook, but even with that, it's still incredible at this task. Now let's move on to this feature. This feature is truly incredible. This is the thing that honestly shocked me, the upscaling feature, where you no longer need any external tool for upscaling. This capability is amazing. Look at what a low quality and small size photo I gave it. This image you're seeing has almost no pixels in its details. It's a completely destroyed image and it gave us an output like this. I only asked it to restore the photo and give me a 4K resolution output with details as if it had been taken with a professional camera. Here you can also see the prompt. Just look at the details, how much detail there is. The subject's clothing, the skin on the subject's face, the eyes, the nose, the hat, this dagger he has here, and even his shoes. Look at how unbelievable the details are. Let's move on to the second photo. In this image as well, I told it to upscale the photo for me and enlarge it to 4K size. Look how small the input image is and look at the quality of the output. Look how much detail we have. How much detail we have in the skin, in the face, in the clothing, the hat, even the cane this person is holding. And honestly, I don't even need to explain anything. You can see for yourself how incredibly amazing the output is and how all the details are clean, artistic and completely true to the original subject. Even here in the input image, we have a button and in the output image the subject has exactly one button on his coat. You can see it preserved all the details and for a model this is truly extraordinary. You no longer need any external upscaler at all. Now in this example I ask it to create an image showing Mr. Beast's YouTube homepage. There is a video with the title 100 people versus world's biggest trap and you can see it has written the title very accurately. The view count is correct. One year ago is written correctly. All the text and all the elements we have here are correct and precise. And you can even see the other videos with their different titles here as well. It has even designed their thumbnails. Friends, this is truly amazing. Even look at the thumbnails, the titles are written correctly and the titles match the ones written below them. In the prompt, I told it to show this inside Windows 11 with an Excel window open beside it and you can see the Excel elements are about 90% accurate which shows the very high precision of this AI model and all the details have been preserved very accurately. Even YouTube.com is shown here along with the other elements. Now in this image, I ask it to extend our input image or do outpainting. I gave it a vertical photo and it delivered a horizontal one. Look how well it preserved the authenticity of the image and stretched it for me on both sides. Then I took this output image and gave it to the model again. Telling this I wanted even more extension, opened the image more for me and look at the incredible photo it produced. It's exactly the same shoes, the same subject, the same clothes he is wearing, 
both the lower clothing and the upper clothing and it rebuilt the face for us. In outpainting and extending images, it is amazing with very high quality and accuracy. I tested it for face swap and I didn't get a very good result. I gave it two photos and told it to put the first face onto the second photo. The result is not bad, but you can see here that the head is a bit larger than the body and we don't get a very clean result. If you've tested it, let me know in the comments whether the face swap works well or not. But usually image editing models do not have good face swap performance. If you want to do face swapping, the best workflow you can use to get a face swap is already in my videos and here I leave the link for you. You can use that and do face swapping in the cleanest way possible, unlimited and completely free. In this example, I ask it to take this photo and blend the subjects in the image with the background. If you pay attention, I have a flower pot and a teapot with its lid, and these are placed together via Photoshop, and you can see the subjects have no shadows and no lighting. It's obvious that this image was placed on the kitchen background with Photoshop, and I created this input image in Photoshop. You can also give the model the two photos separately and tell it to place the elements inside your image. I just wanted to see if I could have a fixed background and place items on it, and whether it would handle the lighting for me, and look how precisely and cleanly it did the job. Job. It added the glassiness of the teapot, the shadow of the flower pot, the reflections, everything without changing the authenticity of the subjects and without changing the background. And you can see how incredible the result is. Here is another result where it made the lighting slightly warmer and you can get different outputs. The good thing about OpenArt is that you can generate four outputs simultaneously, even 4K in any size you want. And you can even click the create button twice and it will give you eight images at the same time. And you can even click it again and get 12 output images simultaneously and then choose from them. For people who actually work with image editing tools, this open art capability is incredible. And you won't find any platform that can generate this many images at once with the highest quality and in any resolution you want. If you look closely, for example, here I gave it a prompt and here I also uploaded an image and I set it to 4K and my desired size. And when I press create, you can see it starts generating four photos. And when I press create again, you can see eight images are being generated simultaneously. And in the shortest time with the highest quality, it gives you the output without any watermark. And this is amazing. OpenArt is truly incredible. As always, I use the OpenArt platform because it provides fast, full, and unrestricted access. The most important advantage of this platform is that you get all resolutions, 1K, 2K, and even 4K, plus you can manually set the aspect ratio of your outputs. You can also generate 4, 8, 12 and even more images at the same time, including in full 4K resolution. All image generation and video generation models are available in none place with no watermark, no limitations and high speed. On the other hand, the Gemini app and Google Studio, although free, do not support 4K, do not allow custom aspect ratios, include watermarks and have usage limits. After a few outputs, you have to wait in a queue and naturally, you can't expect too much from a free service, especially with a model of this quality. I also know that OpenArt has a special Black Friday discount available right now. Let's go to the next example. Here as well, I asked it to match the lighting of the person in the photo with the background. If you look closely, this input image, just like the previous image with the teapot, was placed on the background using Photoshop. And I asked NanoBanana Pro to match the lighting of our subject and blend it with the background. Look how high the accuracy is. Look how well the details have been preserved. Look how well it kept the face and matched the lighting of these two elements together. It's truly amazing. In the next example, I gave it an image from Mortal Kombat 2, the part where you can choose your character, and I asked it to give me an output where these characters are transformed into realistic versions of themselves while staying in their original positions. Look how good the quality is and how well the characters were generated. Now in this image, we use the same classic test we always do for different models, the very famous prompt where we say, show me alarm 20 on the clock, while also having a full glass of wine in the image so that the model generates both at the same time. Unfortunately, Nano Banana Pro also fails at generating such an image correctly. It's really strange that AI models still cannot record the time correctly while simultaneously producing a full glass of wine. In this image, the clock is somewhat close to the correct time, but you can see the glass is not full. And this is really strange, and Nano Banana Pro is also unsuccessful in this prompt. I just wanted to test it. Here is another amazing example just to understand the power of Nano Banana Pro. Here I gave it an input image and I myself drew the edits I wanted using red marks directly on the photo and I didn't mention any of those in the prompt. For example, I said, 
Instead of this junk car, put a BMW i8, the i8 model, which is a clean, modern BMW. Put a cowboy hat on our subject, and also put a sandwich in his hand. And here is the output image, you can see how cleanly it delivered the result. All the elements have been changed and it's truly amazing. The sandwich is in the person's hand without even changing the pose of the hand, the hat is on his head, and this car has been replaced with the BMW i8. And I got the output in 4K resolution. Here as well, I asked it to take this input image and create an annotated technical diagram of this motorcycle for me and you can see it has written all the details for me. And if you pay attention, 99% of the text it has written is correct. This is another result and these two are our output images and the work is truly amazing. In the next image, I gave it a photo of an avocado and asked it to turn this avocado into a futuristic building for us. And look at the accuracy, look how clean it is, look how high the quality is. For people who work in architecture, building design and construction, this capability is incredible. You can give it any image, here I gave it a fruit, but you can give it a photo of any object and ask it to turn that into a building for you. Look how cleanly it turned the pit of the avocado into a hall and connected these two parts with this bridge and you can see the people here, it's truly amazing. Truly amazing. Here is another output, look how clean and beautiful this building inspired by the avocado is. Look at the floors here, look at how it designed the floors inside the center of the avocado flesh. And here this could be a balcony, and this part in the side could be a walkway. And this glass panels and it's truly incredible. No matter how much I talk about the details, it's not enough. In the next photo, I gave it a picture of a pineapple and asked it to do the same. And you can see the details for yourself. I'm not going to add extra explanation. The next capability it has is focus shifting. You can see that in our original photo, the focus is on the subject in the background and the subject's face is sharp while this insect is blurred. I asked it to change the focus so that the insect becomes the point of focus and our background becomes blurred. And you can see how well it managed to perform this shift. And since I generated the output in 4K quality, the details of the insect came out very beautifully without the authenticity of the original image changing. And this is another one of Nano Banana Pro's incredible capabilities. Here, I asked it to execute a very difficult prompt, a giraffe surfing on a big piece of pizza wearing a digital watch that shows the time 4.8. This is my prompt and you can see all the details have been handled very well. Usually, with the first output, it may not give you the perfect result, you may need two or three outputs, but the final result is truly amazing and you can easily create promotional images for your product or your brand. And now you have absolutely no limitations, the only limitation is your creativity. The more creativity you have, the better outputs you'll get. Here I asked it to take this person who is facing the camera and show us the view from behind and you can see it has shown us the back angle of this person very well. Here as well I asked it to take this input photo and give me two output images, one depth map and one canny map and you can see it has given me both with very high accuracy. And you can also do the opposite, you can give it a depth map and a canny map and ask it to generate a photo for you, whether in anime style, realistic style or anything else. This is another one of Nano Banana Pro's incredible capabilities. I gave it an input photo of a pizza, if you look close Closely, this is the pizza and I asked it to put all the ingredients required to make this pizza separately inside a single image and tell me how much of each ingredient I need to make this pizza and look how accurately it was able to provide everything we wanted. The pizza dough, ketchup sauce, mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, bell peppers, olives, onions, everything is listed for you. And you can give it any food and ask it to give you an output like that which is truly amazing. No matter how much I talk about this AI it's still not enough. You can test it yourself and this was my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to write your opinion for me in the comments.